The very latest on the international standoff over NSA leader Edward Snowden. He is still in Moscow at this hour. President Putin defying the U.S., saying the Russians will not turn him over, but also telling Snowden publicly it's time to go. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross has been tracking all of the very latest. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Amy. Putin is a former lieutenant colonel in the KGB, and U.S. officials say there is little doubt he is thoroughly enjoying the plight of the U.S., outwitted by and powerless to stop the 30-year-old Snowden. There is no scheduled flight to Havana from Moscow today, giving U.S. authorities another day to press for Snowden to be sent home. We do think that based on law enforcement cooperation, there are uh, ways that we can uh, have him return, out, not uh, withstanding that we don't have an extradition treaty. But President Vladimir Putin is going out of his way to flatly reject the request to send Snowden back to the U.S. He told reporters on a trip to Finland, Mr. Snowden is a free man. The faster he chooses his ultimate destination, the better for us and for him. Russian authorities say Snowden remains hidden this morning somewhere inside the airport's international transit area, a place of VIP lounges, duty-free shops, and a small hotel for passengers who have not yet gone through passport control. Reporters, including ABC's Kirit Radia, were dodging Russian police trying to find Snowden. I have to be a little bit careful here because we've already been warned twice about filming in the airport. He was reported to have stayed somewhere in this hotel behind me. We asked the hotel. They say they haven't seen him. We checked ourselves, but there's no sign of him. Snowden has been in Russia now for three full days. And a former top FBI spy catcher says Snowden's arrival in Moscow was like a gift for Russian intelligence agents who have no interest in helping their rivals at the CIA or the NSA. There is no way they're going to help NSA get one of their defectors, and there's no way that he's going to be on, uh, in that airport, and uh, they're not going to find a way to talk to him and get access to computer. Putin said the Snowden matter should not affect relations with the U.S., saying it was a minor distraction, or as he put it, the same as shearing a piglet, a lot of squealing and very little wool.